Hey guys, Duodana Dine here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to organize a standard small closet laundry room with those wire shelves that pretty much everybody has. It kind of can become a catch-all zone, which you can see here. It definitely was for my mom. Things kind of strewn about, sort of in boxes, kind of functional, but I'm gonna show you how to take it from zero to hero at the Dollar Tree. So here is what her laundry room looks like now. It is so functional, super organized, and she can find everything. This entire space was organized for just $20. First and foremost, Dollar Tree baskets. Hello, gotta love them. My favorite are these square ones because they're so deep and they're really, really sturdy. I also love these that kind of have a vent in them. Also these ones because they're kind of bendable so they can fit inside spaces. And then these little tiny ones are perfect for some odds and ends. Try to stick with one color, whatever color you choose. If you try to mix and match colors, it's really gonna make it look cluttered, even if everything is contained in baskets. Definitely label your space. However, it's best to put labels on the bottom of the bins because if you think about it, when you grab a bin, you always grab it at the top and the labels get destroyed over time. So this is a great way to do it. And you guys can definitely do this on a budget. I just use this packaging tape and then just printed these off from the computer. Here I've used these two baskets and then in the corner over here, we're keeping extra batteries. So no space has gone to waste. You see how there's all this room in the back? That's a fantastic place to keep paper towels. So she usually gets them at Costco. So she stacks them up here and then she can also stack them behind all of these bins. Over here, she's got this little bin which is just attached to the wall using a hook. So I just stuck two Dollar Tree bins in. They fit perfectly. I also do not recommend putting the things you access every time you're in the laundry room, AKA your detergent in a bin. It's best to contain things that are small like this that easily topple over like these little spray bottles and stuff like that. That's a lot easier to categorize than trying to put these in bins. These little S hooks are also awesome for like hanging stuff off of the shelves. They're great for bags and aprons. To keep her reusable bag, she just houses them in this Ikea bag. And I wanna show you guys this. I think it's really cool and would make an awesome DIY. This is just for plastic bags. And all this is, is almost like a sock with a little cinch part on it. You could actually make one of these just using an old large tube sock or you know part of a sweater. And if you wanted to cinch it with a little bit of elastic, you could. Be on the lookout for containers like this at the Goodwill. They're all over all the time. This is where she's keeping her clothespins. And traditionally this would store like sugar or cookies. So those make awesome organizers in the laundry room. Lots of you folks overseas who don't have access to really inexpensive bins like this, take cardboard boxes and cover them with contact paper or scrapbook paper and you really can achieve the same look. Some of my favorite boxes to use are wine boxes, diaper boxes, and if they're all uniform in size, they'll work super well. So that's my mom's super easy laundry room organization. Once we got the baskets in here, I kid you not, this took about a half an hour to put together. You guys can totally do this in your house.